guys i hope you all had a really enjoyable time over the christmas and new year period i know i most certainly did but now we are into 2018 and it's time for me to hopefully step up my game and everything that i'm doing i brought you my 10 worst dives of 2017 last week the reason why i did that is because i usually post all my best dives i think more often than not, I post a good dive. In terms of dives in general, the main thing you see is good dives because, you know, the Olympians, the medalists, all of them, they're very, very good at what they do and they very rarely make mistakes. I can definitely count myself in that category as an Olympian and many people probably think that I don't make many mistakes. But as the sport goes, you do, you make mistakes, it happens. And I wanted to just showcase that, that it happens to everyone because I'm a coach and some of the kids that I coach, they make mistakes and they might wipe out of the dive, maybe hurt themselves a little bit. And then it takes them a long time to get over the pain that they felt on that dive. And I think it's important to know that they're not the only ones that do make mistakes on dives and hurt themselves sometimes. And the most important thing to do when you make a mistake is to get right back up and do it again and try and get it right. If you make a mistake again, try it again. Go again and again and again and again. And eventually you'll get it right because hard work doesn't result in nothing. That's the way I see things. That's why for this year, for 2018, my motto is the hustle never stops. Okay? I am going to do everything inside the pool, outside the pool, everywhere to make myself better. And that's my attitude for all of 2018. So make sure you stay tuned because you will see the results soon, hopefully. But anyway, I didn't want to leave you guys on a negative of my 10 worst dives. So I decided to bring you my 10 best dives as well 2017. Not all of them are conventional best dives. They're dives that I'm either very proud of or that were actually really, really good in competition. So my 10 best dives in 2017. I hope you enjoy. Okay, this one is not actually in my top 10, but it's so satisfying to watch that I couldn't leave it out. So this can kind of be like number 11. I love a good quality reverse one after like, that entry is sick. Okay, number 10 now, here's where we get into it. This is kind of where I made, one of the biggest changes I've ever made in diving. I have talked about this a few times before about my twist technique. This is the first time that I went up on a three meter and did the four, two and a half of one twist with the new technique. For it to be the first one, it was pretty good. So I was pretty happy with that. This one, not a conventional best dive, but you're not gonna get many six foot divers trying this dive. So that's why it goes in at number nine. Number eight, <clears throat> um, this was pretty sick, for me anyway. Hi. My easiest dive, probably my most consistent dive, but the entry I got on this one was definitely right up there with some of the best I've ever got. In light of recent attempts at this dive and recent wipeouts I've had on this dive, I had to throw this in there because this is the first one I did off hurdle and it was actually like reasonable. I mean, I completed four and a half somersaults and landed almost at a price, so I have to put that in. This is in training in Plymouth. Not long after I learned my own with three and a half or started doing it properly, I can always look back on this and be pretty happy. Oh! You might have seen me some of my previous 
video, especially with the top 10 worst, that this dive did not go well. But I tried it again and I got it right outdoor. So it's always good to get back up and give it another go. This is probably one of the best starts I've ever had in the first three and a half. Just in training leads, but I always struggle on getting the right start, getting the right direction, getting the right balance. But I definitely caught the hurdle on this one. Got that direction, got into the shape, got the right come out, just a little bit heavy on the end. And finished up by a quality back on our pipe by Rumi Baba. Okay, here we go to competition in Australia. This goes in because it was in comp. This is the first time I've hit reverse three and a half well this year. So once again, had to make an appearance. I think I scored 73 on this. This is after making that massive mistake in the prelim, which was also in my top 10 worst, where I balked and then landed on my back. This was on the same day in the semi-final where I came back with a different attitude and ah, I hit that dive well. In, you saw the one of me doing it in Plymouth where I finally got a good entry. Well, this is the first real time that I nailed it in competition. I almost scored 80 points, which incidentally is my second highest scoring dive. Hopefully this season, I can try and get over 80 points a few more times. But if I can continue doing dives like this, that might help. So that's my top 10 best dives of 2017. Here's to even more good dives in 2018. And remember, the hustle never stops. See you next time. Peace out.